Hi everyone, this is Tutor Marife MCP. I create math video lessons that could serve as your supplemental learning resources. In this video, we're going to study some properties of a rectangle and apply those properties in solving for the value of x using this given figure. We have here quadrilateral TALK, which is actually a rectangle. We have here two diagonals, diagonal TL and diagonal AK. The length of diagonal TL is represented as 7x minus 16. Half of diagonal AK, which is line segment KM, has length 3x plus 4. Okay, so how do we form our equation for x? We're going to apply the property of a rectangle stating that the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Therefore, diagonal TL is congruent to diagonal AK. When we say that two diagonals are congruent, we mean that their lengths are equal. Therefore, TL is equal to AK. If there's no bar above TL, it means that we are referring to the length. Same with AK. When we remove the bar above AK, it means that we are actually referring to the measure of AK. Okay. Another property of a rectangle states that the diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other. Um, and when we say that diagonals bisect each other, we mean that they divide each other equally. Therefore, if this is our rectangle TALK and these are the diagonals of our rectangle, this point, point M, is actually the midpoint of the diagonals. And when we say that this is the midpoint of the diagonals, it means that the two shorter segments are equal to each other. Therefore, TM is congruent to LM. AM is congruent to KM. Okay. In other words, KM is actually half of diagonal AK. This is one half of the length of the diagonal AK. So we can replace the right side of this equation with twice of KM. If this is one half of diagonal AK, then we simply double it to obtain the length of diagonal AK. 2 times KM, or double of length KM. And this is equal to the length of diagonal TL. Okay? Now it's time to replace left side and right side of this equation with their representations. TL is represented as 7x minus 16 and KM is represented as 3x plus 4. Left side becomes 7x minus 16. Right side becomes 2 times 3x plus 4. So this is our working equation in solving for x. As you can see, we have a linear equation and one variable. Therefore, x is solvable. We're just going to manipulate our equation. And our target is actually to isolate letter x on one side of the equation. And let's choose the left side of the equation for solving x. Okay. Step one. If the linear equation involves grouping symbols, so we have here parentheses, our goal is to eliminate first the parentheses by applying distributive property of multiplication over addition. Distribute 2 
into each of the terms inside the parentheses. So, 2 times 3x, 2 times 4. 2 times 3x is equal to 6x. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. After eliminating parentheses, we're now going to collect variable terms on the left side of the equation, constant terms on the right side of the equation. We don't need a constant term on the left side of the equation, so we have to get rid of negative 16 on the left side. Additive inverse of negative 16 is positive 16. So we're going to use addition property of equality to remove this on the left side of the equation. Let's add 16 to both sides of the equation. Left side plus 16, right side plus 16. Additive inverses cancel out each other on the left side of the equation. The left side becomes 7x only. Simplify right side, 6x plus 24. Combine 8 and 16. 8 plus 16 is equal to 24. Next target, we don't need a variable term on the right side of the equation. So how do we remove 6x on the right side of the equation? Additive inverse of positive 6x is equal to negative 6x. So we use subtraction property of equality. Subtract 6x from both sides of the equation. Right side minus 6x, left side minus 6x. Additive inverses cancel out each other on the right side of the equation or when you subtract two equal numbers or two equal terms, the difference is always equal to zero. So we cancel these two terms out. The right side of the equation becomes 24 only while the left side becomes 7x minus 6x or x. This is the value of x. Okay? Finding the value of x, we're done. x is equal to 24. Okay, let's validate our answer. How about replacing x in the expression 7x minus 16? TL is equal to 7 times 24 minus 16. Therefore, TL is equal to, I uh, know, this is times 24 minus 16. 7 times 24 is equal to 168, and 168 minus 16 is equal to 152. This is the length of diagonal TL, 152 units. Let's solve for the length of diagonal AK. AK is equal to twice KM. Km is represented as 3x plus 4. So let's replace this with 3x plus 4. So ak becomes 6x plus 8. Replace x with 24. ak is equal to 6 times 24 plus 8. And 6 times 24 is equal to 144. 144 plus 8 is equal to 152 units. We obtain the same length, which is actually correct because the property of a rectangle states that diagonals are congruent or they have equal measures. So TL is indeed equal to AK. 152 is equal to 152. We validated our x. x equals 24 is correct. That's it. If you have any questions, you want further clarification, or you want to give a feedback, feel free to post it. Again, this is Tutor Marife MCP. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video.